was good hearing from Clayton Lewis there. And he'll reflect on a really fantastic performance. As New Zealand ran out 1-0 winners today. That was an early chance there for De Jong. After what was a nice cross there from Costa Barbarouses. De Jong met this other header. This was headed over by Winston Reid, who in truth didn't know too much about it. It was just ushered out of play by Simon. This was a nice, nice cut back there for Matt Garbutt, who was one of the star players today, really. But in this instance, probably should have scored. Lovely cross there from Wilkins and Garbutt. But he was matched there by Warisan. He was involved in the thick of it, really, Warisan. In this corner, Warisan left stranded a little bit, and it was cleared off the line in the end by Daniel Joe. A clever little header from Joe Champness there. And Daniel Joe was quick to read it. And this was Papua New Guinea's best chance. Gunemba with the back heel into Daniel Joe, and Kepo with the near post header. I think, I think Kepo thought he scored there the way he reeled away, but that really was the closest that Papua New Guinea came to scoring. And here, should this have been a penalty perhaps? There, the challenge from Warisan was clumsy. He didn't get the ball. De Jong thought he perhaps should have. Nice pass upfield. Now Ben Wayne was brought down on the edge of the box. And whilst the Papua New Guinea defence was organising itself, Kiwis by Garbutt and then to Ingham and straight to Ben Wayne made it 1-0. It was quick thinking from Garbutt into the path of Ingham and Ben Wayne, the substitute, the young 20-year-old on his debut for New Zealand, tucked away the first goal, his first goal, which would ultimately prove to be crucial for New Zealand and help get them all three points. There was just enough time here for Ben Wayne to be challenged there by Alwyn Comalong. Rather robust challenge, but here at the back post from Rogerson. Really should have made it 2-0 with a thundering header. You could really hear it clatter against the crossbar. And Rogerson again was involved with a lovely cutback that fell to Garbutt, who in turn smashed the crossbar. Garbutt had a fantastic game. He was involved in everything good, and here he beat his marker all too easily, clipped the back post for Boxall to really test the hands of Warisan. Boxer with the free header there at the back head. All the time in the world to pick a spot out, and Warisan met him. So, after that fantastic second half, New Zealand take all three points here in Doha. Papua New Guinea nil, New Zealand one.